Hey everyone, in today's hug, we're going to talk about vegetables. So at the beginning of January, I tried to go carnivore because I really do love my protein. But you know what? I could not do it because I love vegetables even more. And while I understand a lot of the argument for a carnivore type diet, it just didn't work in my body, okay? And that's why we try things, to see how it makes us feel. Now, I feel like vegetables are really important for two reasons. One is the fiber that you get in vegetables is really good for your gut microbiome, okay? It helps with the probiotics and the prebiotics in your gut because the prebiotics that you get from the vegetable fiber are like fertilizer for all of the probiotics so it makes them proliferate. Okay, also it can help with elimination. And another benefit is that they are alkalizing. So protein sources are acidic, vegetables are alkalizing, most are anyway. And so that's why when you bring them together, they can balance out a meal for you. And we know that disease doesn't like an alkaline environment. So this is one reason why we want to stay alkaline as much as we possibly can. Now, there's about three different categories of vegetables that I'm going to talk about. We have the leafy greens, which you guys all know. You know, the Swiss chard, the collards, the spinach, the kale, the lettuces, and like the the specialty ones. So like watercress, arugula, um, the microgreens, like the sea green vegetables, all of those are extremely alkalizing, but they are better eaten cooked, okay? Because they have nitrates and oxalates and all kinds of things to ward off pests. I wish it worked in my garden though, because my kale loves to get eaten by something. I think it's like earwigs, but it's just wonderful. I love that the dinosaur kale or Lakanto, I think it is, And it is just amazing. I don't think it's Lakanto. I can't remember what it is. Anyways, the one that's like dark green, it's almost like a powdery evergreen color. And it's a Tuscan kale is what it is. It's so, so, so good. So you got your greens family. Then you have your cruciferous. So that's your broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, that family of vegetables. And I prefer those oven roasted on a high heat with avocado oil and lots of spices. Like I love adding turmeric, red pepper flakes, uh, coriander and cumin and the red hot chili peppers and salt with olive oil, super, super good. And then the next family is, this is the debatable one. So that's the nightshade family. Now Dr. Gloria is 100% against nightshades for most people. But what I've discovered is if you have inflammation in your body, the nightshades accelerate the inflammation. But if you don't have inflammation in your body, they might be just fine. So my inflammation score, I just got blood work done, is only 0.6. That's my HSCRP, the C-reactive protein, is only 0.6. So that shows that I don't have inflammation in my body. So that's why the peppers and the tomatoes and things don't react to me. But they might to you. And so the best thing to do is eliminate things if you have inflammation, clear that inflammation out, and then retest. You might have a different reaction after you allow your body to heal. And we know we all have a special white device that's in my pocket here that actually helps our body heal itself with frequency, right? So everything is possible. So I'm going to just say to see where you are inside your body and then test it out. With all foods, test it out. Watch the wow call with Ellen. It was so fabulous where she talks about how to test foods for your body to see if it helps your body today. Because maybe something you ate yesterday was great yesterday, but it's not gonna work out for you today. But like I said, I love my vegetables. I combine them with proteins and fats, and that is how I eat, and I just love it. Just eating meat didn't do it for me. But one of our members messaged me just a couple days ago and he's lost like 35 pounds and he went carnivore. And so obviously it worked for him really, really well. He said he's feeling great. So everybody has to find the lifestyle that works best in their body 
and you know it when you find it because then all of a sudden you got that sweet spot. All right, so eat your vegetables if they agree with you and eat a variety because we hear eat the rainbow, well, that's on purpose because we want to rotate through things so that we don't develop a sensitivity to them later. All right, so let's give ourselves a big, fat, juicy hug. Ah, sending you so much love on this beautiful Thursday. I look forward to seeing you next time. And hopefully I'll see you on WOW soon. Okay, have a great day, you guys. Bye for now.